or hi. Haarlem, the city and community in the west of the Netherlands, the capital of the province Northern Holland and a part of conurbation Randstad. The port on the Sparn River is located approximately in 20 kilometers to the west of Amsterdam near coastal dunes. Population of 156,000 people. 2014. The area of the territory is 32 km. From them 2.6 came. It is the share of water. The first mention of Harlem belongs to the 10th century. His name comes from the words Haroheim or Harlehem that means the high place on the sand covered with trees. At first it was the small settlement, but thanks to good location, near the Spana River and the big way connecting the north and the south, in the 12th century the settlement turned into the strengthened city which the Dutch counts in the 12th century made the residence. The first fortification strengthenings till our time almost didn't remain. At the beginning of the 13th century during the Fifth Crusade Knights of Harlem took part in occupation of the Egyptian port Damietta for what in 1219 they were marked out by the Count William A, and Harlem acquired the right to represent a count sword and a cross on the coat of arms. On November 23, 1245 the columns Wilhelm II I granted Harlem the status of the city that meant receiving a number of privileges. Among them there was also a right of the independent justice which replaced Count Court that allowed to accelerate a Vershenai of lawsuits and contributed to the development of the growing city. After a siege of Harlem residents of neighboring lands around the city constructed about 1270 a protective wall which, most likely, represented an earth shaft with wooden gate. At the end of the 14th century, instead of this not really reliable protection which wasn't meeting needs of the expanding city around the city, the wall 16.5 meters high was erected and the channel of 15 meter width is that. Tan Hall of Harlem at Croakmark Square It is built in the 14th century on the place of the burned down Count Palace. In 1304 with Van Hemsted broke the Flemings threatening to Harlem at Manpadia. At the time all city constructions were wooden and fire constituted huge danger to the city. So in 1328 the city was almost reduced to ashes. Street Davens Church on which restoration more than 150 years were required was strongly damaged. On June 12, 1347 there was the next strong fire. The third heavy fire took place in 1351, having destroyed the Count Palace and the building of a town hall among other buildings. As by then the palace in Harlem wasn't necessary to columns anymore. Its functions were undertaken by the Ritter's Allah in the Hague. The earth on which he stood was presented to the city, and as later on this place the new building of a city town hall was erected. In 1381 epidemic of plague claimed the lives of 50 hundred people, nearly a half of the population of the city of this time. In the 14th century Harlem was the large city. He was the second largest in Holland after Dordrecht, surpassing Delft, Leiden, Amsterdam, Coda and Rotterdam. In 1429 the city acquired the right of collecting duty including from the ships passing by the city down the river of Sparn. At the end of the Middle Ages Harlem was the prospering city with large textile production, shipyards and breweries. About 1428 the city was surrounded with army of Zaklina, the Countess Hennen. Harlem was at war on the party of a COD in war of hooks and the COD and thus against Jacoba Boarskaya. 
during the siege de Forest Harlemerkoot, the oldest park in the Netherlands was burned. The Spanish siege of Harlem of 1572-1573 is a part of 80-year war. She was preceded by the next events. In 1556 the territory of the Netherlands as a result of the partition of the Sacred Roman Empire departed to Spain. Ten years later the government of Spaniards led to the Massachusetts anti-Catholic riots which served as a prologue of 80-year war which, however, practically didn't affect Harlem. Even after capture of Ajozama I shaved on April 1, 1572, in fact the first important event of 80-year war, Harlem came over to the side of Revolutionary Army of Jaws not at once. City authorities, unlike ordinary citizens, didn't approve an open speech of the minding Spanish King Philip II and only on July 4, 1572 the city officially sided with Revolutionary Army of Jaws. In reply the Spanish king sent on the North Army under command of the Duke Dona Federique. The son of Alba, the deputy in the Netherlands in 1567-1573. On November 17, 1572 the Spanish army destroyed all citizens of the city of Zietven, and on December 1 the city of Narden was comprehended by the same fate. On December 11, 1572, the Spanish army began a siege of Harlem. The Harlem was completely surrounded with a protective wall. On an illustration, the map of the city is shown about 1550. It had the unsuccessful form. The impossibility of flooding of city vicinities allowed enemy army to set up a number of camps around the city. And only existence nearby of the Big Lake Harlem and Medinta allow Spaniards to block completely delivery to the city of food. In the Middle Ages of fight and winter time were a rarity and Don Fadric decided on a siege only because Harlem was the key city. At the beginning of fight the Spanish army tried to attack city walls, but the made attempt to quickly occupy the city failed because of insufficient training of the Spaniards who weren't expecting to encounter resistance. This victory gave to defenders of the city considerable moral support. In the first two months of a siege any of the parties had no noticeable advantage. The Spanish army dug tunnels to reach city walls and to blow up them. In reply defenders of the city under command of the city head of Wigbow prepared to dug the passes to blow up the tunnels dug by Spaniards. However on March 29, 1573 affairs of Harlem it's considerably worsened. The Amsterdam army which remained faithful to the Spanish king occupied the Lake Harlem armor and cut off Harlem from the outside world. Hunger began and the situation in the city reached such tension that the great number of prisoners loyal to Spaniards was killed on May 27. At the beginning of July, 1573 near Leiden, Prince Oransky brought together army and 1500 people for liberation of Harlem. However, Spaniards trapped them at Manpada and this army was broken. As a result, after a seven-month siege, Harlem surrendered and there was it on July 13, 1573. Plunder of the city by the one army, a commonplace after such siege, however Harlemets were in honor given an opportunity to redeem freedom to enter the city for card buildings. A great number of defenders of the city were killed, many were drowned in the Sparn River, the head of Harlemets of Wigbolt Ruperda and its lieutenant were beheaded. It was offered to city to make itself available to the Spanish garrison. Don Fadric uplifted a prayer of thanksgiving in street. Bavens Cathedral.
Though eventually the city was forced to surrender, the siege showed to other cities that the Spanish army isn't invincible. Later it helped defenders of the cities of Leiden and Alkmaar during their siege the Spanish army. Moreover, Alkmaar even won a victory over the Spanish army that became a crucial event of 80-year war. In street. Davin's Cathedral it is still possible to read the following words. In extreme need in the greatest suffering. We handed over the city, having conceded to hunger, but not to an enemy impact. Three years later, in October 1576, Harlem was overtaken by one more big misfortune. Having begun near the Board of Weights and Measures, the terrible fire destroyed about 500 city buildings. The trace of fire which destroyed a part of the city is guessed on cards of the time. Thus, as a result of the Spanish siege and the subsequent fire nearly a third of the city was destroyed and a great number of citizens died. The population of the city in 1573 made about 18000 inhabitants. At the end of 16, the beginning of the 17th century in the country rapid economic growth began. Exile of Spaniards, legal recognition of equal rights of Catholics and Protestants and also the war continuing in the south of the Netherlands with Spaniards I led to growth of a flow of immigrants to northern regions of the country. A part of this stream settled in Harlem, not least, thanks to tolerance of city council and questions of belief. By 1622 the population of the city increased approximately twice to 40000 inhabitants. And a halfen was made by Flemings. Among immigrants there were artists, businessmen, experts in the field of production and sale of linen and silk fabrics. Tesco, the capitals and communications led to growth of the textile industry that promoted the emergence of a layer of the prosperous middle class. The Protestants showing great interest to science, technology and art substantially promoted transformation of Harlem into the modern dynamic city. Growth of number of Protestants in the city led to confiscation of the main Catholic cathedral of the city street. Bavens Cathedral, and transformation of his about 1580 into the Protestant Temple. Growth of number of successful prosperous citizens, in turn, caused increase in demand for works of art, and special flavoring addictions of a new class led to change of a plot of pictures from religious on more prosaic subjects. Representatives of all sectors of society become models for portraits. Franz Hals, Dirk Hals. Landscapes with the image of Harlem and its vicinities. Jarrett Adrian's Burkhead, Peter Jan Sanerdam, Jacob Isaacs van Ryoestel, Isaias van die Veld, January van Goyen, Salomon van Ryoestel. Are in great demand interest in scenes of everyday life. Adrian van Ostade, January Steen, Isaac van Ostade, Joe Burkhide. Images of utensils appears. In Harlem the so-called genre of breakfasts, which many features gradually become characteristic features of a new genre of painting, a still life arises. Images of holiday tables are gradually transformed to more intimate breakfasts on one person who made the represented, picturesque, disorder. Willem Klaas Heide, Peter Klaas Only one transfer of the painters creating in Harlem shows that in the 17th century the city was among the large art centers of the country. In the 17th century in Holland blossoming and architecture worries, the set of new buildings is under construction, many of which remain up to now. The famous Dutch architects of the time of Leuven, D.K. and Yao. 
Van Kampen laid a hand to construction in Harlem. 50. D.K. was a city architect, his most known constructions, the Board of Weights and Measures, AMSAS. Nowadays Franz Hals's museum. And meet Franks. Vlesko. Known around the world in style of the Dutch Renaissance. The facade of the city town hall constructed on the place of the Count Palace which burned down 250 years ago is also his work. The new church. Street Anne's Church is obliged by the emergence to 50. VK and famous Yao. Van Kampen's joint creativity. In 1631, 1634 in the city the country's first channel, the connected Harlem with Amsterdam and intended for transportation of goods, mail and passengers was open. Barges lasted the horses going on the coast that allowed to organize regular, not depending on weather conditions, the message. This type of transport turned out so effective that the Harlem-Amsterdam Channel existed up to 1883, and the last 40 years it functioned in parallel with the railroad. The 17th century in the history of Holland was marked by active occupation of new colonial lands. Harlem, as very large and economically developed city of the country, remained in the chronicle of the Netherlands colonial empire in the form of the name of the settlement in North American colony. This name remained so far. The modern New York district of Harlem is in the place of the former settlement New Harlem which was located in the territory of the New Netherlands. In the 30s the 17th century Harlem became one of commercial centers of cultivation of tulips. At the time of the Tilpanomania, which captured all Holland, the Harlem Exchange appeared in the center of speculation on bulbs of tulips. The prices of them reached absurd heights and sometimes several bulbs were on sale for the sums comparable with house cost in the prestigious district of Amsterdam. In the winter of 1637 at the exchanges of Holland there was a collapse in prices for bulbs, the decree regulating trade in bulbs in the state that led to sudden ruin of thousands of duchies was issued, having mentioned, certainly, and Harlem. But though the Tilpanomania also led to destructive consequences for residents of the country, passionate hobby for tulips wasn't in vain both for Holland in general and for the Harlem inhabitants. Ever since floriculture is independent branch of agriculture of the country in which cultivation of bulbous flowers, tulips hyacinths, plays a key role. The passion of Duchess to cultivation of tulips became a plot of the novel of A. Thomas the Black Tulip and Harlem in is described as the city having full authority to be proud of the fact that it is the most shady city of Holland, inhabited by people with quiet character, with inclination to the earth and its gifts. Harlem, according to Dumas, to madness fell in love with flowers and among them there are most of all tulips and, apparently, this love didn't pass. The fields occupied under cultivation of tulips stretch between Leiden and Harlem to this day. The Harlem Academy The Academy of Arts organized in Harlem in 1583 by the draftsman and engraver Hendrik Goltzius, painters Cornelis Herlemski and Karel van Manor. Harlem in the 16th, 17th centuries was one of the main centers of the North European mannerism and a Romanism in painting and graphics. The Netherlands artists of the time were guided by Italy where Renaissance came to an end and mannerist trends in the fine arts and architecture became stronger. The new academy was created on a sample of the known Bologna and Roman academies. 
in Harlem, for the first time in Northern Europe, pupils began to draw from naked models to study plastic anatomy and architecture. On engravings of architectural treatises. In 1590, H. Pultius visited Italy. His engravings a cutter impressed with the masterly equipment, a manner of a stroke and a modeling of the form borrowed the Italian mannerists. Karel van Mander was one of the most educated people of Europe of the time, learned the Greek and Latin languages, ancient philosophy, wrote poems and imitation ancient authors. His book about artists, 1604 became an important event in cultural life of the European capitals. Harry II, the Harlem Academists, also the painter, the architect and the poet Salomon de Brea, the painter Abraham Blumart, the engraver Peter Jan Sanerdam. Works of these artists were eclectic, in it the sophisticated equipment, naturalistic trends, influences of the Italian mannerism and academism of the Bologna school connected. Throughout the 17-18 centuries in the city not less than one and a half tens half Yusuf were based though the first of them appeared in the 14th century. This word. Of you. In Dutch called the houses with the courtyard and a garden serving as shelters and almshouses. Harlem is high on the list in the country on number of such institutions which part is still used for designated purpose. One of buildings of the Harlem Museum of Franz Hals also belonged earlier to almshouse. At a turn of the 17th and 18th centuries, with transformation of the nearby city of Amsterdam into one of the largest shopping centers of Europe, Harlem lost the situation in national economy and I turned into the suburb of quickly developing new center. If at the beginning of the 17th century on population Harlem conceded only a little to Amsterdam where at this time about 54,000 inhabitants lived, then in 1675 the number of inhabitants of Amsterdam increased almost four times. Thanks to the existing regular transport connection between Harlem and Amsterdam. Channel Trekwart. Successful merchants were able to afford to be engaged in affairs in densely populated Amsterdam, and to spend the days off in Harlem in which their families lived also in summer months. At least two such rich duchies left a mark in the history of the city. The famous Dutch Mennonite, the native of Harlem, Peter Teller van der Hulst bequeathed a part of the huge fortune on the charitable purposes and also for needs of science and art. On his means the shelter was constructed, and in his house the museum called in his honor by Tyler's museum is created. The Amsterdam banker Henry Hope constructed in Harlem a country house well known nowadays Val de Legion. This country house created between 1785 and 1789 is constructed in style of classicism, atypical for Holland, and now is located in the territory of the Harlem Park. In August 1735 in the Botanical Garden of the Director of the East Indian Company, J. Clifford located near Harlem and containing a set of exotic plants from around the world, the new inspector, the famous Swedish doctor and the naturalist Carl Linney appeared. Being engaged in scientific research, K. Linney worked in a garden till 1738 and published during this time several main scientific works. In the 18th century Harlem became the residence of the Bishop of the Utrecht Catholic Church formed at the beginning of this century on the basis of the heretical doctrine of Jansenism. At the beginning of the 19th century one of the most important industries of the city, the textile industry, stayed in decline. 
the population of the city was very poor and in 1815 made only about 17000, that is was less than at the beginning of the 17th century. The disastrous condition of urban economy led to creation in the city of cotton factories which were urged to reduce unemployment among urban population, but this measure was almost useless. City protective walls by the beginning of the 19th century completely ceased to perform the functions and were demolished, and on their place the park was broken. Till the middle of the 19th century, the city economic situation gradually began to improve. The new enterprises were open, the new big companies are founded. Fourteen years later, after emergence of the first ever railroad, the country's first railroad which connected Harlem with Amsterdam was open on September 20, 1839. Her construction took three years, but now, instead of a two-hour travel on the channel, it was possible to reach the capital of the kingdom all for half an hour. Very quickly new railroad enticed all former passengers of Trekvart, though today probably to carry out a travel from Harlem to Amsterdam by the boat. In 1848-1852 according to the order of the King William II drainage of the nearby Lake Harlem Armour was carried up. Emergence of Novaya Zemlya complicated restoration of water and channels at the expense of the Sparna River and creation of the new enterprises worsened water quality even more. Therefore in 1859 the old channel was filled up, and on his place there was a new street with the same name. Emergence of Novaya Zemlya favorably affected development of the city. On the place of the drained lake extensive tulip fields were stretched. In 1853 in the city street. Isaf's church which began to perform functions of the cathedral was constructed. However, the small size of Church of Street. Yes, F. Forced to begin construction of the new Cathedral of Street. Bavin in 1895. In spite of the fact the consecration of Cathedral took place in 1898, works were continued even more than 30 years. In 1902-1906 the Cross Island and Nave of Cathedral were constructed, and construction of the temple was finished fully about 1930 when towers of cathedral were finished. In 1878 in the city there was a horse tram transporting passengers from the railway station to the Harlem Park, and in 1899 one of the first in the Netherlands the electric tram began to act in the city. The population of the city in 30 years from 1879 to 1909 increased from 36976 to 69410 people. Growth of the population was followed also by fast expansion of city borders. At the beginning of the 20th century the city expanded to the north. Despite the official development plan for the city presented in 1905, his implementation began later nearly a quarter of the century because of disagreements with neighboring municipalities. In the 30s the 20th century of border of the city were displaced in the direction to the south and the east. In 1908, after reconstruction, the city railway station began to work again. It was constructed over the city and railway tracks didn't hinder the city movement anymore. The building of the new railway station was built in style of Art Deco in 1905-1908 by the Dutch architect D. Dagan. Margadent who is the author of buildings of stations and in other cities of the Netherlands, including The Hague, 1891. 
in 1911, and eight years after the first flight of Brothers Wright, in Harlem took place the first flight of A. Fokker on the airplane created by him. On August 31, on a birthday of the Queen Wilhelmina, Fokker who lived the most part of children's years in Harlem flew around St. Bavon's Church. This flight brought him glory and became a beginning of the career of the aircraft designer. From 1919 to 1922 at the Harlem School of Architecture and Decorative Arts, the famous Netherlands graphic artist Moritz Cornelis Asher studied. One of teachers of school, the artist Samuel Jesser and Dimas Guita, had a huge impact on Asher and even after the end of study of two artists connected a friendly relationship. In 1926 B.T. Benga, one of representatives of the Amsterdam School, constructed in the city Kloppersinger Church. She was created on the basis of the project of a Calvinist church. 1923. The church had original planning, and her entrance was decorated with statues of leaders of Protestantism. Up to now the church didn't remain, it was destroyed by the strong fire on March 23, 2003, but her photo of 1927 remained. The Great Depression of 1929-1933 hard affected city economy as other and on economy of the whole country. During World War II Harlem, as well as many cities of Europe, underwent the German occupation which continued from May, 1940 to May, 1945. All this time worked in the city the resistance movement. One of the famous participants of the movement Hanni scoffed. Hanni Schaft was grabbed and executed by Nazis several weeks prior to the end of war. Other resident, Cory Baum, together with the family saved the Jews and the Netherlands participants of resistance hiding from Nazis. For it in February, 1944 all family was sent to the concentration camp. Cory Ten Baum only from all family managed to endure it, and subsequently became one of authors of the autobiographical book, Shelter, devoted to these difficult years. For rescue of Jews Israel awarded her ranks of the righteous person of people of the world. In total for years of fascist occupation in the city 422 participants of resistance were shot. Sites The Central Market Square Grote Markt Together with Tan Hall The 14th Century Meat ranks about 1600. House of City Guards, the 13th century. Street, Maven's Church, the 14th century. Franz House's Museum. With collection of paintings of the Harlem School of Painting of the 17th century. Taylor's Museum, oldest in the Netherlands, and Taylor's Courtyard. Gate. Middle of the 14th century. New Church or Street Anne's Church. The 17th century. Willa Velde Legion. Adrian's Mill. City Public Library Catholic Cathedral of St. Bavon, 1895-1930 The Railway Station The building of the beginning of the 20th century in style of Art Deco Harmerknut The oldest park in the Netherlands Famous natives and inhabitants Samuel Lampsing, 
1590-1632 Is the Dutch priest, the poet, the historian? Lawrence Jensen Koster Near 1370, near 1440 The possible inventor of publishing in Europe Dirk Bats Near 1415-1475 The Netherlands painter Gallet Philip 1537-1612 Is the Netherlands artist the schedule of an era of mannerism? Cornelis Ver Near 1590-1661 The Netherlands painter traditionally is considered a founder in Netherlands painting of a genre of a marine. Virgin that Sint Jans Near 1460 Near 1495 North Netherlands painter Dirk Volkerts and Korngert 1522-1590 Is the Dutch poet, the writer, the translator and the scientist Karel van Mander 1548-1606 Is a poet, the writer and the artist from the Western Flanders Hendrik Goltzius 1558 near 1617 Netherlands artist, representative of mannerism. Lyvan D.K. 1560-1627 The Netherlands architect. Cornelis Cornelissen. 1562-1638 Is the Dutch painter and the architect. Cornelis Klaas van Veringen. Near. 1576-1633 The Netherlands painter and the engraver Peter Klaas 1596-1597-1661 The Dutch painter, the master of a still life Peter van Laar Between 1582 and 1595-1642 The Dutch painter Hercules Seegers Near 1589 Near 1638 The Netherlands painter and the engraver Franz Hals 1580-1585-1666 The Dutch painter Willem Klaas Heide 1593-1594-1680-1682 The Dutch painter, the master of a still life Romain D. Hoge 1645-1708 Is the Dutch artist, the illustrator, the etcher, the sculptor, the engraver, the draftsman, the medalist and the caricaturist of the golden age of Holland Writer and philosopher Peter Jan Sanerdam 1597-1665 Is the Netherlands artist Salomon van Rijstel Near 1602-1670 The Dutch artist landscape writer Adrian van Ostade 1610-1685 is the Netherlands artist and the engraver De Philips Wuverman 1619-1668 The Netherlands artist Nicholas Peters Burham Near 1620-1683 The Dutch painter, the schedule and the engraver January Steen 1626-1679 Is the Dutch painter Jacob van Roosdale 1628-1629-1682 The Dutch artist-landscape writer 
Brothers Job, 1630-1693, and Jared, 1638-1698. Where had his painters? Hugo D. 1848-1935. The Dutch botanist, the geneticist. Geert Hofstede. I was born. 1928. Dutch sociologist. January van Lenskoten. Was born. The merchant, the traveler and the historian. Martin Stekelenburg. 1982. The football player, the goalkeeper. Nederlandaf. Sport. The football club Harlem acted in the first division of the Championship of Holland. For him, one of the best known Dutch football players, Rude Gullet, played in particular. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.